Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, I've partnered up with Ole to bring you this gorgeous red carpet look. This red carpet look is all about eyes that steal the spotlight. So I'm gonna show you how to get this natural wearable look that's also going to light up your face. First, I'm going to smooth and brighten up my eyes using the Olay Regenerist Eye Swirl. I'm just going to lightly dab this under and around my eyes. It's a very light formula, so it's going to be quickly absorbed by my skin. Now I'm taking an eyelid base that's going to help my shadows not only show up more pigmented, but also prevent creasing. The first color that I'm applying will be directly placed onto the crease using a fluffy crease brush. You always want to start with small amounts of shadow and gradually build up to achieve the most flawless finish. Moving on to the darkest color of this quad, I'm going to take a pencil brush to apply this color to the crease of my eyes. I like to dab this color in place first and then switch to a blending brush to blend it out. Taking a flat shader brush, I'm picking up this gorgeous color and I'm going to pack it on in the inner half of my eyelid. Patting the color on instead of sweeping the shade to blend, it's going to give you a lot more color payoff. This last shade will be applied as a highlight with a fluffy brush right beneath the highest peak of my brows. Now I'm going to take a cream and easy to blend eyeliner and smudge it right on the outer corner of my eyelids. Since the eyes are the main attraction for this look and I want to keep it wearable as well, a creamy pencil like this one is going to give you a softer look. After curling my lashes, I'm going to apply a few coats of mascara to my lower and top lashes to finish off the eyes. For the face, I already prepped my skin using the Olay Regenerist Micro Sculpting Cream. Now that my skin is well moisturized, I'm going to apply this airbrush foundation by misting it onto a damp sponge. This is going to give me lightweight but flawless red carpet coverage. Next, I'm going to dab a little bit of concealer under my eyes to highlight the section of my face. I'm going to lock it all in place and also reduce a shine by dusting a yellow tone setting powder all over my face. Now I'm going to add some bronzer to bring in some depth and color. This is going to be applied on the hollow parts of my cheekbones and around my hairline. To illuminate my face, I'm just going to take some highlight and apply this to the apples of my cheeks. Last but not least, I'm going to finish off this red carpet glam by adding a nudish peach lipstick. So here we have the final and completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this gorgeous red carpet look and you get some use out of it. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye!